Hello everyone, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. I am here today to bring you my first three Christmas decor DIY for this video. So I'm very excited. Um, these are made with items that I found at Dollar Tree. Um, a couple are from Hobby Lobby clearance, but you can find similar items at Dollar Tree. And then I'm thinking, oh, there was one item from Dollar General and I believe a thrifted item. So what I want to do in this video, my goal is to just show you different ways that you can use things that you can find at those easy to find places. Um, you might not create exactly what I created, but use those ideas or those techniques to make something of your own. So I really hope you like these DIYs. I really try to make items that are unique um, using different techniques. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me to grow my channel. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you will stick around. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you tap that bell so that you'll be notified of all my future uploads. So let's get on with my first Christmas Dollar Tree, Dollar General clearance thrifted decor DIYs. And I'll see you guys at the end. For this first project, we're going to use this brown tree ornament from Dollar General, one of these little but fierce signs from Dollar Tree, some Mod Podge, and this printable. I will put it in the description box. So I just peeled the glitter um, decoration from the front of this, and then I'm taking this printable that I found just doing a Google image search. I printed it out and now I'm just measuring it to make sure that it will fit on the front of this sign. I am cutting it slightly smaller so that um, there will be a little bit of the edge of the sign showing. So before I Mod Podge this sign to the front, I'm going to go around the edges with my Waverly chalk paint in the color Truffle, just to give it a little bit of a border. And once that is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and use a layer of this matte finish Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree and then stick the printable down to the front of my sign. You do wanna make sure you use a good amount of the Mod Podge and get it as even as possible and then smooth out any bubbles, any air bubbles or globs of Mod Podge. Okay, and now that that's dry, I'm going to take my little X-Acto knife and just cut out the little corners of paper that are sticking out at each corner. I did use a sanding sponge from the Dollar Tree just to kind of smooth out um, the edges and the corners. Thank you. 
I did go back and put some more truffle paint on the edges. Next time I would definitely do this at the same time as um, painting a little bit around the border of the front, just to give this a nice finished look. And here you'll see I did add a little of the brown paint at the corners um, just so it kind of matched the straight edges. This step is optional, but I did go ahead and do another layer of the Mod Podge on the top of the sign, just so if it did happen to get wet, the paper wouldn't um, be ruined. So I was super excited when I found these little ornaments at Dollar General. They did have red ones, but I chose to go with the more neutral brown truck. And all I'm gonna do here is cut off the hanger and then hot glue it to the front of my sign. And I just love how this turned out, just using two items that were a dollar each and then the printable that I found online. What do you guys think of this, how it turned out? I love it. For our second DIY, I am using some five gallon paint sticks from Walmart, Jenga blocks, wood letters from Dollar Tree, three milk bottles, and assorted floral and chalk paint. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all of these pieces with truffle. Um, I will say I did have to use my dad's saw. I did cut these paint sticks. They are eight and a half inches long. So this takes two of the three paint sticks that you get in the package for 99 cents, but this is such a great deal. And then I'm using 10 of these unfinished wood Jenga blocks. They're not Jenga, but you know, the Dollar Tree version. And I'm giving everything a coat of this truffle paint. So while that is drying, I'm taking these three milk bottles. These have no texture or anything on them, but feel free to use what you can find at Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree. I have had trouble in the past getting the chalk paint to stick to the glass. So what I'm doing is I am putting a layer of Mod Podge on each of these three glass bottles and letting that dry completely. Now that all three of them are dry, you'll see it has kind of a cloudy finish now. I'm going to use Waverly Chalk Paint in the color plaster and give this two really good coats on each bottle.
Now I'm going to glue two of these wood sticks together. This is going to be the base of my tray. And I found with this Gorilla Wood Glue, it is best just to let it sit for a long while. Next with my Jenga blocks, I'm gonna glue five of them together and then the other five together. And these are going to be the two ends of the wood tray. Okay, moving on to my wood letters from Dollar Tree. I'm taking J-O-Y and I'm going to paint them with Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson. And I think I did go ahead and give these two coats and I did wanna make sure I got it on the side edges of the letters as well. So if you haven't bought these before, you get these at Dollar Tree in the craft section. You only get one of each letter. Um, just FYI, if you're wanting to spell something that has multiples of any letters, you'll need multiple packages. But I think they are a really great deal for the value. Now, back to my bottles. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they had a little bit of a crackled um, appearance once you had put the paint over the Mod Podge, and I really liked it. It added to the old look of them. Here you can see I'm just taking some jute twine. This is from Walmart, but you can get it at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just adding this uh, touch to the top part of the milk bottle. And I'm just hot gluing and going around about three times with this twine. It is a little thicker than what you get at Dollar Tree. Okay, now I'm taking this burlap ribbon, which you can also get at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to hot glue it around the middle of each of my bottles. Um, kind of the top edge of it is right where the bottle starts to curve in towards the top. Um, I, were, I tried to lay them next to each other to make sure um, I got them at about the same spot on all three of my bottles. Um, I just really love combining these natural looking elements that you can get at Dollar Tree. So now you can see I'm taking one of my letters for joy and I'm just hot gluing it to the center of my ribbon. And I will do this on all three. I will do O and then Y. Okay, I'm getting super excited for this project. Moving back to the wood, now I'm going to put the two side pieces onto my tray. And now that that's dry, I can take my two sets of five Jenga blocks and I'm going to glue those to be the end of my little box here. I don't know if I showed it, but I did use the sanding sponge or you could use sandpaper to sand away any excess wood glue that has dried on. And I just think it gives it such a cute little rustic look for this wood box. 
And for some finishing touches, I'm taking um, some thinner jute twine, just putting a dot of hot glue on the back of my box. And I'm just going to wrap it around a few times, just again, to add more of that rustic farmhouse look to this uh, decor piece. I did purchase some of these small, um, red Christmas ball ornaments from Dollar Tree last night. I apologize that they were not in the picture of supplies. I decided to add them at the last minute. Um, so I'm just gonna string two of these at the front of my box and then tie a knot and we are almost finished. Okay, now our three Joy milk bottles will fit perfectly in this little tray. And our last step will just be to add whatever Christmas florals you choose. You could do just evergreen, you could do just the berries. Um, these are some glittery leaves. I think I got these at Walmart actually. So just feel free to put in whatever floral that you'd like to finish off this piece. For our third project, I am taking these two clearance signs from Hobby Lobby, these nativity and joy to the world ornaments that you can buy now in their Christmas crafts and some chalk paint in different colors. I'm going to take some painter's tape around the side edges of these signs because I'm going to spray paint the back. I don't want this number nine and the zero. So I'm spray painting that part that will be the back of my sign. I love these little ornaments that you can buy in packs of three at Hobby Lobby in their Christmas crafts at 40% off right now. They are retail $3.99 for two and they're so cute. Um, I would guess they're about five inches in diameter. So here I'm taking my crimson chalk paint and just painting the joy to the world so that it stands out from the rest of the wood. And then the little leaf wreath that goes around the outside, I'm going to paint with my moss green. Okay, so here you see the back of the box all spray painted, I love that. And this is what they had as the back. I'm going to use this as a little shadow box picture. Like I said, I kept the metal and I kept the wood um, around the sides and edges. I just thought it was very pretty. Um, I'm taking some of this super glue. I've never used it before. It literally is one use per tube. I got it Dollar Tree. And I'm just putting a little bit on some of the thicker spots of this wood ornament and adhering it down to the center. I love how customizable this craft can be. You could paint these wood ornaments in any colors you'd like. And I am taking a little of this red and white gingham ribbon, making a small little bow, and I'm just going to hot glue it over the hole where this ornament would um, be hanging. So just make a little bow and hot glue it right there, and you'll have your finished sign. 
I will say that in this video, I did not go ahead and do the other one with the nativity. Um, if you guys want to see that one, how I do it, it's pretty much gonna be the same other than painting the nativity, probably just in black, so it's like a silhouette. Uh, but I can definitely show you guys that in my next video if you are interested. So let me know in the comments. And here is how our third decor DIY turned out. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Please let me know in the comments which of these three Christmas decor DIYs you liked the best, and I'll see you next time. Bye.